What up, what up, Wimbush here. And if you want the Blender viewport to move and operate in a similar manner to Cinema 4D, there's an easy solution for that. So if I go to the top left up here, where we have the edit button, I'm gonna left click on this. I'm gonna come down here to preference, and then I'm gonna come over here to key map. Now in the top left, you should see a button that says Blender. If I left click on this and scroll down to the bottom, it's gonna say industry compatible. Now I'm gonna left click on this and I can exit it out. And now if I go inside my viewport and I hold down the Alt key and I left click on my mouse and hold and move around, now I'm moving around my object there. And then same thing, and if I hold down the Alt key and I hold down the middle mouse button, I'm able to pan around. And if I hold in the right click button, I'm able to move in and out. Now this is the same exact way we're used to using it inside of Cinema 4D. So it's gonna make it a lot easier using Blender moving forward. Now I know this was a basic tip, but honestly, I did this for a reference for myself as I'm putting this on more of my systems and laptops. I just wanted to have a reference that I could go back to whenever I get stuck trying to change this interface. So hopefully this will just help some of you out there that are just trying to get more familiar with Blender, especially if coming from other operating systems like Cinema 4D. So leave me a comment down below with some of your tips as I'm trying to get more familiar with Blender myself. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.